Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be unstuffing my wallet and stuffing that money in the saving challenge. We're gonna also take a look at my month um, and see where we are in the month and what's going on. I will not be stuffing my sinking funds um, this week. So I'm going, going to stuff my bills. So y'all are gonna see me stuffing my bills instead of the sinking funds. And um, I'll kind of talk about like, you know what's going on with that <laughs> also going to show you guys the grab bags which that sale is coming up this coming monday so i definitely want you guys to be able to see the grab bags before the sale and yeah let's get into it okay y'all so um just to go into a little bit of last week so y'all know my heaviest bills are due at the beginning of the month so it'll be my rent and utilities which is one bill together um my health and dental insurance and then I have a couple more bills, Netflix, um, electricity, and my cell phone. So all these bills were paid. I did let you guys know that I was buying a ticket to an event um, in a few months. And I was hoping that I would be able to do it on a payment plan, and I am. So I'm going to be paying um, about $35 a month for a few months to pay for the ticket. So this week I had a bunch of no spend days. Y'all see this? One, two, three, four. Yes. I had a bunch of no spend days this week. Um, so that is going to come in handy for the saving challenge, which y'all are getting ready to see. And what's coming up next week that we're preparing for is Mother's Day. So y'all know that I stuff my sick and funds very low. Typically, like I make $50 stretch. But this week, $40 is going to go to um, my Mother's Day gifts and then, or this weekend, and then the extra 10, I'm going to add it to my business expense account. So I already have a certain uh, amount or, per or a percentage that I put aside for business expenses. And I'm just going to take the extra 10 from the 40 or from the 50 take the extra 10 and just put it in my business expense account to add to it some more um so that's why i'm not stuffing 50 dollars this week in my sinking funds because of mother's day as well as i have bills coming up and um just needing to put some money aside into my business expenses account so let's see um these two bills are business bills and one of them actually got paid earlier in the month i think i might have to end up moving this sticker because i think that this date changed i didn't change it this is what i i used to pay this bill around this time of the month but for the last couple of months it's been coming out somewhere up in here so i may have to change that for next month um so the bills i'm gonna be, gonna be stuffing today um are going to be my car insurance apple music subscription my wi-fi bill and my taxes bill the last bill of the month is um, another business bill and that comes out of the business account so I don't stuff those bills on camera so this is my May budget um, personal budget for the month of May so I just check off as the bills get paid I track my variable expenses on my weekly check-in page which, which we're gonna get to these the, for this section at the bottom i put additional expenses and savings that i do throughout the month that are not a variable expense or a fixed expense so as you guys can see the mother's day this month is also my mom's birthday um for the covid shot so i actually called my insurance company yesterday to pay that shot and just be done with it um and they actually told me that I didn't owe that $12. It was 11, $11.57 to be exact. But they told me I didn't owe that. They were like, you don't have a bill. I was like, uh. And the papers that I got in the mail, I got like four papers in one envelope. And it said, this is not a bill. But then I thought I had another paper that showed what I owe. Because it said the shot was like 50 something dollars and like 40 something dollars was covered and like a, it, that left $11.57 that was not covered. So I don't know what happened y'all, but 
I called the insurance company. They told me I didn't owe it, so I don't have to pay that shot. I just will be on the lookout if I get any other um, bills that come in the mail or whatever. So, um, yeah, so outside of things for my mom and not owing on my COVID shot, I just have my saving challenge and sinking funds this month. As you guys saw in the monthly spread, there's not a whole lot going on, which I'm very thankful for. Okay, I'm not showing you guys the dashboard page because it has some things on there pertaining to the shop. Um, and I don't wanna spoil surprises. You guys know about some of them already, but there's some other things that that's on there that I can't show you guys just yet. So we'll get into the wallet. So for spending, um, I, let me see if y'all can see. Okay, for spending, I did not spend any money out of this category. As you guys may have watched my last video, where, not my last video, because my last video was a vlog. Go ahead and check that out, I'm gonna link it below. But the video before then, um, I talked about trying to save as much money from my wallet this week as I can. So uh, I did achieve that, so grateful. So I still have $39 left in spending for the month. For gas, I did not spend anything. So let me tell you what happened. Okay, so y'all know that I work from home. I have been strictly working from home for the past like five months, four or five months. Um, I also kind of like live in, in a country area, like it's kind of like the country. <laughs> so things are a little bit more cheaper out here than like in the city. So my gas has been lasting me a really long time. Um, and I, I want to say by like the end of last week, I still had like half a tank left of gas. So I was like, well, I'm not really doing anything this week. There's no events or anything going on. And the next thing there is for me to do is uh, Mother's Day, but that starts a new week, a new budget for me. So I shouldn't be, I shouldn't need to spend any money on gas this week. And I did not. Um, usually I'll also get a car wash, but it's been pretty much stormy all week long on and off. So I didn't even get that done. I didn't, I didn't get a car wash either. So I was able to save this whole envelope of $45. And so I'm still left with $185 for the month. For groceries, I did spend the $170. So, I mean, not $170, $70. So I have two... 85 minus 70 equals 215. So I have $215 left in groceries for the month. Um, home, I, I did spend it home. Oh, I notated that in my vlog. Uh, so if you watch my vlog, you'll get to see where I spent that $15. <laughs> I took y'all along with me. So um, 15 minus 60, I believe is 45. And of course, I spend eating out. That's always the first one to go. Um, so I was a dollar over in eating out. So 99 minus 51 is 48. Wait, what's no? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm all confused. I spent $30 this week. What is going on here? Okay, so it is 99 minus 30 is 69 i was like i thought i had more than that left because y'all are gonna see i'm not stuffing my eating out envelope this week what am i doing oh my gosh 69 66 69 girl get it together honey let's see got the white out going everywhere it's just a whole hot mess y'all okay i spent 30 dollars right i gave myself 30 I spent 30 and now I have 69 left. Crazy. Mez is not getting anything this month at all. Um, I just completely forgot to budget for it when I did my monthly budget. I did not spend anything in beauty. So I still have $60 remaining and then nothing for medicine. Um, I did add a miscellaneous envelope to my wallet and y'all see why. So this is my bank envelope, nothing's there. My coins, I need to scan my receipts and then these are where I keep my cards. 
So for this week, spending is going to get its usual 10. Gas is going to get its usual 45. And where am I at on gas? I'm a little bit under, I might be almost at a quarter tank left, I think. Um, home is getting 15. Eating out is getting zero. Beauty is getting 60. Groceries is getting 70. So the reason why eating out is not getting anything is because I'm putting all of my uh, beauty money, what I have for, for the month, I'm putting it in this month. Um, and then once again, if I don't spend any eating out money this week, that'll leave me with $69, which I have posted on my Instagram page that I have another event coming up on the 25th, 26th this month that I forgot to budget for. So I'm trying to save money that way since I forgot to put it in the budget. Um, and then also my mom's birthday is at the end of this month. I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't know if we will be going out to eat for my mom's birthday the weekend before or the weekend after. So if it's the weekend before, it's in May's budget. If it's the weekend after, it's in June's budget because I'm starting my June budget on the 2nd. So, and then again, like I said, I have an event this weekend. It'll be one of these days. So I'm trying not to spend any money on eating out this week to have money for that. And then if we go out for my mom's birthday within that weekend, I'll have money for that as well. It's pretty much $70, which is more than enough. All right. So this week we are going to be stuffing three bubbles. And... Let's see. So I'm going to be stuffing. Y'all, why do I feel like I'm missing a dollar? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I thought I had a dollar left over, but it's looking like I may not have a dollar left over. So I'm going to stuff a 17. If it'll get down there another 17 and then um, I'm gonna stuff a 20 as well so I'm trying to hit some of these larger numbers um, this week especially since I was able to pretty much have quite a bit of um, money left over from the wallet so let's just go ahead and calculate this up so 17 plus 17 plus 20 is 54 and I think I have 55, so 20, 40, 50, yep, and five. So um, I may try to find change for this. Let me see what I have in here, just so I can be exact. I mean, it never hurts nobody being a dollar over, but let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, so think that's how it goes okay yeah so I'll put this five here put that five there and then 54 so then I will take a dollar and yeah that'll leave me with 54 so 20 40 50 1 2 3 and 4 okay So that's where we are with the saving challenge. So for the rest of the weeks, we have another 17, one, two, three, four. We've got five more left for the month. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this dollar in my bank envelope. I mean, it's not much, but we'll see where I am at the end of the month. And if all I have is a dollar, then I'll probably just throw this in one of my sinking funds. And today we are stuffing 51, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 
35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 442 dollars is what we are stuffing today. And again, this is just for um my cash wallet and for my bills, which y'all are gonna see. Oh, let me just show y'all a little bill binder, honey. Yeah, so this is my new bill binder. Um, I went ahead and split up all of my bills because um, I kind of had some of the bills like connected, but I just went ahead and split them up. I hope it's not glaring too much. I know the light is right there, but these are all of my bills, y'all, um, in like this magenta pink color. I also have yellow envelopes that are coming to the shop because I know some people have requested that. Yeah, with the double, like the double um, categories and a little white tracker on the back. All right, so spending is getting a 10. Gas is getting 45, so 20, 40, and five. And I'm thinking at the end of this video, um, after I show you guys the grab bags, I have been thinking that I probably need to like lay my stickers down with you guys because I know that when I do my monthly budget videos, they are already um, laid down just because that process would make the video a lot longer and it's already a longer video. It's longer than my cash stuffing videos. So I usually have my stickers laid down in advance before I make my budget videos, but I felt like, um, you know, maybe this will be a good video to actually show you guys how I lay my stickers down. Um, so I think we'll do that at the end of the video. Heating out is getting nothing. I'm so sad about it. I'm gonna try, I really am gonna try this week. I never, skip that category y'all know i will skip beauty i will skip spending before i skip eating out because <laughs> as much as i you know i like to cook i like to have things to eat at home but i also love to be able to go out and get something else you know sometimes you don't always feel like eating what you have at home but i'm thinking that you know I have a, a purpose. I'm trying to save for some special things coming up. So this miscellaneous, miscellaneous envelope is gonna get the $40 for my mom's Mother's Day gift. So that's why I have this envelope and I'm just gonna put her 40 in there. And so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab my bill binder and we'll stuff um, the bills. Okay guys, so we are not stuffing health insurance um, or Netflix or my cell phone. We will be stuffing, nope, not electricity. Car insurance? Yes. <laughs> Car insurance. I had to pull out my, um, I had to pull this back out because I completely forgot. Today is the 12th. And, um, the car insurance is 94. So we are going to do 50, 70, 90, and one, two, three, four. So this is my car insurance. My Apple Music is um, $12. And if you're new to my channel, I round up to the next dollar, to the nearest dollar, just to make it a bit easier on myself. And then I kind of have like some rollover change and it ends up giving me like a cushion in my buffer account so that is apple music 
Um, Wi-Fi is getting 31. So we have 20, 30, and one. So that is my Wi-Fi bill. And I think I just got an email from them saying that it's getting ready to go back to the regular, to what it regular, regularly is supposed to be. So I think it's gonna end up being like 60 something dollars. And I honestly don't know if that's for this bill or for next month. I guess we'll find out. And then for debt, um, actually, I wanna change this and be specific about what it is. So my debt is my tax, tax bill. Um, and the goal is to pay off 811. I'm gonna just say PO, pay off 811. Today is the 12th. Um, and then I'm gonna put my balance in red. So I had 811, I paid 50. Once I pay this, I'll be at 696 for the balance. And this is what I have to pay off by, really by April of next year, but I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to pay it off this year. So um, that's my taxes bill. And then that is going to be the end of the bill binder. Next, we will go ahead and get into um, the grab bag so y'all can see what those are looking like. Okay, y'all, so for my grab bag sale, um, I mentioned it on my community tab here on YouTube as well as Instagram that I'm going to be selling bags of five to six sticker sheets for five dollars so um when i first started making stickers which was about a year ago um actually more like eight months ago i started out putting stickers in stock so i was like okay let me put like some stickers in stock you know because my goal with the stickers is to be able to ship them Pretty much as soon as you guys order them and if you've ordered from me this month so far you've seen that so my people that have gotten their june budget kits in the first week of may either already have them or they're in transit because i ship them out immediately but when i first started making stickers <laughs> i didn't realize like you have to like build a clientele because he already had you know a customer base for my um for my shop um, but I didn't realize I would have to like build my customer base for stickers. So when I first started the first couple of months, I was not making many sales at all for stickers. Um, so I had a lot of stickers that technically went to waste. Um, so I kept the ones that I felt like would be beneficial to you guys that you guys are currently purchasing from me. And I was like, you know what, instead of throwing all these stickers away, which is what I was going to do, um, why not? you know sell them for five dollars and so i just feel like this is a great way for you guys to build your sticker collection if you enjoy budgeting that way as do i um this is a great way to add some stickers to your collection for those emergencies those unexpected budgets that pop up um yeah and um i had a subby reach out to me last week that let me know she forgot to purchase her stickers so she was like well i just had to kind of pull some stickers together and make it work and she actually, her comment gave me this idea as well. I was like, oh yeah, because I was just gonna throw these away. And I was like, let me go ahead and make this available. So like when you get to that point where you may have to just throw something together, you have some things to work with. So I made the stickers, um, I made the bags to where it'll be the same sticker in each bag. And the reason why I did that is because I did not have like enough inventory to make it a mixture of stickers. So if I do a mixture of stickers for a grab bag, I envision that including a calendar, um, a budget sticker sheet, um, a dashboard sticker sheet, and I don't have any of those left over. These are the, the kind of sticker sheets, this is all I have. So I do hope to in the future 
offer you guys both or you can get stickers the same sticker or you can um get a bag with a mixture of stickers but i would just prefer to have more of like the stickers like like i said the budget the calendar the dashboard i would prefer to have some of those and then start mixing stickers so we're just gonna go through it i'm not gonna make this super long um so these are some transaction logs and some of them have like the same uh let's see some of them have the same design some of them are a mixture of designs so this is like an example of the transaction log grab bag and this is as you can see six stickers so some of the bags have six stickers and some have five but I have one, two, three, four, five transaction log grab bags and they're unsealed so that when you guys get them, I can put your um, pack and slip in there along with like a freebie and um, get it sealed up and shipped to you guys. So these are my transaction logs and I just wanna show you guys what I have so that you already know um these are spending trackers now i currently don't sell this sticker sheet anymore because i felt like it was a bit redundant like a spending tracker and expense tracker i felt like that's pretty much the same thing and i just didn't think that there was a reason to offer both of those and i prefer the expense tracker because i mean i'm sorry the transaction log that's what it is I stopped making these because I started making the transaction logs and I felt like these two are kind of redundant in a way and I felt like a transaction log is more universal you can use it for many different things even if you're trying to you know keep up with what you're saving that could be a transaction log a transaction is any type of exchange of money whereas spending I felt like that was more like specific to just your spending and I just wanted to offer you guys a more universal sticker so that's why I go with the transaction log but when I first started making stickers I was making spending trackers so that's why I have that and I have four of these and I was using the yellow sticker paper um, in the beginning so some of the stickers have the yellow um, backing next I have sinking funds y'all know these very well so there's one two three for the savings saving so there's three sinking funds bags and again you'll get five to six sinking fund stickers and then i have a savings tracker one two three four five so you'll get well i have five um saving tracker grab bags that you can get and each grab bag will have its own listing so um let me see if I can pop in a, a picture real quick. Okay, so when you guys go to my website, you come over here and under stickers is where you will see grab bags. And I'm gonna also link, have the link available for y'all too on my community tab. And this is where you'll see the listings for the grab bags. So every grab bag will have its own listing. So it'll say like transaction log grab bag. And then I'll have the amount that I have in in stock it'll say sinking funds grab back so that's how it's gonna be so it's gonna be like several little listings here for each grab back that that you might might want so that's where it'll be so under stickers grab bags yes yeah, so I don't remember if I counted these out but there are five saving tracker grab bags then we get into the paycheck grab bag. So with these grab bags, um, let's see, these all may say paycheck um, five. Yes, so these all say paycheck five. So what you can do with this, I'm not gonna pull the sticker all the way up, but what you could do is you can actually cut the five off, right? So it says paycheck five but you can just slice that off and just it just says paycheck and you can put the date somewhere um of your paycheck so you know you can know what date it is but i decided to go ahead and and sell these as well because you can just easily cut off the number um to indicate whatever paycheck you want to use it for 
And so I have one, two, <sighs> so sorry about that y'all. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. So five paycheck grab bags. Again, you can just cut those numbers right off and use it just like normal. So then I have event stickers. Y'all know these are some of my favorite stickers to use um, to notate what's going on in the month. And um, I think these are all, these all look about the same. Let's see. Yeah, these are all the same. So um, these are the same color, same design for those. I'm trying to think. I don't know if event stickers, if I was making those at first. So I have one, two, three bags of event stickers. And then next is debt snowball and debt tracker. And I have one, two, three, four, five, and six bags of these. So um, I want to say some of them actually will have the same design. Yeah, so some of them will have the same, the butterfly look, and then some of them, like probably this one, let me see, is mixed. Yeah, this one's mixed. So you get that one, that one. Oh, y'all, look at my designs. Oh my gosh. I don't know why this bag just made me so happy. <laughs> I'm like, wow, these are so pretty. Okay, so yeah. And of course, when you order it, I'm just grabbing them at random. So um, I don't know which one you'll get, but that's kind of the fun in it. Getting this, you know, surprise, see which one you get. Okay, so now we have the Build Do stickers. And I have four grab bags of these. Um, and I know these are a mixture. I, I'm pretty sure of it. Maybe, maybe not. Let me see. Some of them... Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty much the same for each one guys. Some of them will have the same, um, the same design or the same color scheme and some will be mixed. So I have four, um, bill dues bags, and then I have three weekly check-in bags. And I want to say that the weekly check-ins are all the same, I think. Um, so these are the bags. I just wanted to be very transparent with you guys and show them on camera. Um, show you exactly how many I have of each and what they're looking like. And again, I mean, I just don't have the inventory right now to make the mixture, like the, the bags with the mix, because a lot of times grab bags will be like, it'll be like 20 sticker sheets for $10, you know, which is totally worth it. And it'll be a mixture of all these different, you know, designs and colors and stuff. And it'll be like a substantial amount that can be in stock. You guys see, like, even with the inventory I have, I'm only able to make a few bags, you know. So I just don't have the inventory yet. But with that being said, like I was saying, when I first started making stickers, I put I was putting stickers in stock which is how I have the leftovers but I had not built a customer base yet for my stickers so a lot of the inventory just sat now almost a year later your girl has a customer base for the stickers so now I am back in a position of putting stickers in stock and like they're selling <laughs> this time so um, it's all just building everything has to be built from the ground up so um, with that being said though, I still foresee myself having grab bag sales because I'm putting stickers in stock and you always have leftover inventory over time. So again, these are five for five. Some of them have six, but you'll see the little pink sticker at the bottom. I hope that you guys, um, like what you saw. I hope that you're able to take advantage of the, um, sale that will be this coming Monday, May 15th and I don't know what time to make my sales available. Like, I don't know what time you guys prefer. So if you could let me know in the comments, like what's a good time and I can kind of get a general 
um, kind of like a gist of like what's a good time for you guys because I definitely want to make them live when it's an optimal time for you. So if that's in the afternoons or the evenings, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you.